How's it going then, people? Right, so um, today's video, I thought I'd show off my uh, birthday prizzes. And also uh, a few pickups I've got today. It's not many. But, um, yeah, pickups were a bit slim today. But I've got some nice birthday presents, so I just wanted to show them. Right, so, first off, what I got off the kids. Bandit number plate. This is going to go up in my uh, gym. So I've got that one, Ecto-1, and then last but not least, Night Rider, or Night. Yeah, these were plates I'd been looking at, so they were quite sneaky, they got these without me realising it. Um, I'd been watching them on AliExpress and was planning on getting them, so... Um, yeah, they ordered them off there without me knowing. And when I opened it this morning, I was like, oh, I've been looking at these. There's one other that I still want to get, actually. So at some point, I'll get that as well. Because I'm going to put these up in my gym. So my shed gym. So yeah, nice bit of decoration. So that's what I got off the kids. Right, now this one, this one's really nice. So the missus asked me what I wanted. And I'd seen this. Um, I should probably explain, actually, how I ended up seeing this. So Mike Shed um, mentioned an Instagram page, um, Andy Cope 1969. And he, he'd got a couple of uh, ornaments from him and he recommended like, you know, his work basically. And the ornaments I saw were really nice. So I went on there and had a look just to see what they've got. And this fella here took my attention straight away. Obviously it's Hellboy. I mean, look at the detail on this. Apologies if you can hear any noise in the background. My neighbour's kids are shouting outside. And as you go round, I mean, look at the detail on that. Oh, when you look at the face and all that, it's really good. Look at that. So, yeah, I saw this and I said to the missus, oh, I really want to get one of these for the games room. This will look really nice. And she went, well, your birthday's coming up. Do you want me to get it for your birthday? So that's how I ended up with it. So yeah, this I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but it's going to look really nice, this. So I'm going to put a link to his Instagram down below because if there's anything you like off of there, just direct message him and then he'll give you a price. And he posts it too. I had mine posted. So yeah, really nice. I can't recommend it enough. He's got so many different things on there, like Freddy Krueger, um, uh, Bigfoot from Bigfoot and the Hendersons, all, all different things. Beetlejuice is another one, like all the all the sort of stuff I love actually. So if these are the sort of things you like, especially horror stuff. He does a lot of that. Get on over there and have a look. So like I said, that's Andy Cope nineteen sixty nine. And like I said, the reason I come across him was because of Mike Shed because he'd mentioned the guy and he's he's got a couple of his items. So so yeah. So cheers for recommending him, Mike. Um, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have found him. So. Yeah, really happy with this. Really nice. This is going to look fantastic in here. So, yeah, it's great. And then we didn't stop there because we went out into, into town and I decided I was going to go and see X and uh, picked out a couple of items and I was looking at this other item in the cabinet and uh, said to the guy, I said, uh, that game that's up there in the cabinet, is it all complete? And he opened it up. Yeah. I said, right, I'll have that. And at that point, the missus said, I'll get you this. So I've got lemmings for the Mega Drive. Now, this was £8, which I personally think is a bargain because it's spotless. It's even got the hang tab. Look, I mean, when do you find them with hang tabs? And it's all complete. I mean, look at it. It's not a mark on it. A little tiny bit of creasing, but nothing major. £8. Bargain. And I wanted to get this. Because, as you know, I've got a lot of good memories of playing this with my uncle. So when I saw it for £8, I thought, I've got to have it, because it's such a clean copy of it. I've seen this game for much more on eBay, so, yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. So, so yeah, the wife bought me that. So I was going to buy it myself, but she got it. So, yeah, nice little bonus. So um, going back to the Hellboy, just to make you aware, that was not cheap. Um I'm not going to go into prices because I don't know whether he, he d does different prices for different people. So, but it was not cheap. That's one thing I will say. So, but you can see why. 
top quality. So, right, and then I had, like I say, a couple of pickups um, while I was in there here at CEX, and that's Gears of War Judgment. Don't know how, this one seems to have slipped me by. I've got the other three. Don't remember this one. And uh, this one was £2. No um, instructions, but I did get some Gears of War free stickers in it, which I thought was pretty good. So find somewhere to put them. So yeah, that was £2. That's good, isn't it? Two quid. Yeah, I've never seen this. I've, I've never even seen this on Music Magpie. So I don't know how that one's passed me by, but somehow it has. Um, and then this one I've been after for a long time. And every time I see it crop up, it's expensive. And that is Knight Rider The Game 2. And another one that's in really good condition. And it's complete. Now, whenever I've seen this on eBay, it's not complete. And they're charging silly money, like £15 and up. This one, £4. £4. The minute I saw it. This was the first game I saw the minute I walked in the door. I was like, right, I'm having that. Because it's a hard one to find. So the minute I saw it, I was like, right, that's mine. Definitely getting that. So, yeah. So not a lot. But quality-wise, yeah, really good. I've got some, you know, I've only got the two pickups, but, the, you know, good stuff. So, and like I say, with the other one, the wife got me that, so that's even better. So, so yeah, that's my um, birthday gifts and a couple of my pickups. Um, right, so while I'm doing this video, something I just want to explain. Um, when I've done, done my update video, I mentioned that I was planning on doing some charity shops. So first things first, yes, I went to two charity shops today. What a bust. Nothing in either of them. Um, well, there was one thing in one of them, but I'll show that later down the line. It wasn't a game, no. It wasn't a DVD or anything like that. Something a little bit different, but I'll show you that at some other point. Um, yeah, so nothing. Um, so that was a bust. And uh, the other part I mentioned was about going to Chris's Gaming Granddad's. I had some bits I was going to drop to him. I was going to meet up with Andy. Yeah, that's all sort of gone downhill a bit. Um, Andy's had an issue uh, involving his son's school. Sounds like the roof caved in or something. So his kid can't go to school until after half term. So as a result, he's he's got his kid home with him. So he can't get away, basically. So we've had to put it on hold. So we might have to wait a little longer for that, them videos that we was going to do. But nevertheless, they'll happen at some point. And obviously, I'm going to see Andy tonight as well. And while I'm on here, I might as well mention that now. So um, I'm on a live stream tonight on It's Much More's channel. 8 o'clock tonight, and it's an Evercade stream. Um that's like I say that starts at eight o'clock and Andy will be on there so that'll be nice because I get to chat to Andy we talk a lot but we don't talk face to face and I'm pretty certain this is the first stream I've been on with him so it'll be the first chance I've had to actually talk to him properly so that'll be nice um obviously I would have met him tomorrow tomorrow being Friday but that's now no longer happening so we're just gonna have to wait a bit we have to put it on the back burner so yeah, it's a bit of a shame because I was really looking forward to it, but I know the other two guys were as well. So, you know, I, I know that Andy was gutted. He, he straight away was like, oh, I'm really sorry. And I was like, it can't be helped. You know, when it comes to your kids, you you got to put your kids first. You can't do anything about that. You know, things happen, you know. So I know that. <laughs> so I've got two boys of my own. You, you know that sometimes that things just crop up and you've got to put everything else on hold. So it can't be helped, can it, at the end of the day? So, yeah, shame, but, you know, like I say, I'm a bit gay because I was looking forward to it. But, you know, it, we'll, we'll get round to it. We'll do it at some point. We'll get round to it. So, yeah. So, another little bit of an update, really, isn't it? It's funny, isn't it? I put a channel update out yesterday, and then this with um, Andy and his boys scoring out. This all happened about half an hour, It was a, he told me in a message, after the channel update went up. I wondered if he saw the channel update and thought, oh, God, I better tell him. So, yeah, and I was like, oh, man, I've just put a channel update out. So, yeah, so I've obviously I've had to correct a few things there. So, so yeah, um, but while we're talking about it, yes, the charity shops were a bust, but I am planning on going somewhere else. So hopefully there'll be some pickups there. So, yeah, 
we'll see <laughs> right okay guys i uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like share and subscribe and also hit that notification bell and when you do click all so that you get a nice little notification letting you know when we upload also i'm going to mention about the unofficial ambulant facebook group that i'm a part of if you're into your emulation you want tech help any advice on what new consoles handhelds to get etc head on over there join the group you'll be speaking to myself andy and a few of the others we're all on there so and there is someone always on there 24 hours because one of the guys actually lives in australia so he's it's always someone on there so yeah head on over there join the group for a conversation with some like-minded people and all there is left to say is uh take care stay safe nerdy geezer out